man. Good to meet you. What's your name? Uh, Jake. Jake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Ernest, yeah. So, EJ, Ernest. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, I go down there on my lunch breaks and cast, a, cast out and catch some bass. Or, I think I caught a couple of crappies lately, but normally bass down here. Nice. Caught a catfish, uh, about a five pound catfish on a rooster tail, oh, nice. which was surprising, but I go out across all over. Well, mainly like North Dallas okay. area, Louisville area. Nice. Out that way, in your neighborhood pond and things, and try to help other people catch, you know. Cool. Yeah, so that's my main, that's, that's my that's my goal and platform. A lot of fishermen want to share their spots. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Now, I got some spots I want to start healing, but, yeah. you know, I, I want to I want to help others catch fish. Yeah, and no, kind of I have seen, like, the towers and stuff in your videos, so I was like, oh, I, I'm... You're like, I know where he's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You work over here? Yeah, I work for a, a caterpillar. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work in that main tower right there, that central oh, tower. Oh, Cap oh, Gemini, yeah. Oh, it's, a, okay, it's, a, cool. it's a French company, yeah, IT company, so. Gotcha. Yeah, but, yeah, so that's, been, that's about it. I've only been doing it for a couple of years. Okay. Yeah, nice. hoping, I'm hoping it can grow. I see the, the other channels, and... Just they doing amazing yeah, things. Huh? Off, oh man, some of them just got that it, it factor. They yeah. do it. They doing majors. The Richard Gene and those guys. They doing major major stuff. So I'm hoping like five years from now. I'm 50, 51. So I'm working. But maybe by the time I get 60, I can retire early. Maybe we'll see what happens. Right. Nice video, man. All right. All right. So you got. I'm going to try to cast out down here just for a second. Just for a second, see what happens here. It's always nice when I meet followers. So I think I'm doing something good. Something I'm doing is good because I meet a lot of followers, so you're starting to recognize me. I really appreciate that. YouTube and all you followers that follow me, check out my video. That's the only reason I do this. Only reason. And to educate people. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch it up today. So I'm going to actually I'm gonna actually bring my bait caster. I tried something with my bait caster, but that didn't work. So I'm gonna actually cast out this bait caster. They haven't fished with these things in a long time. I mean, a long time. So, do I got a weight in there that can. Um, I don't even know. We'll figure it out as we go. What I, what all I got in here? What all I got in here? Hmm. Let's see what I can do I'm gonna try to just rig something up I only got a few minutes down here anyway so I only got about, I only got about like 15 minutes you guys so I'm gonna try to rig something up so what I'll probably do is like vertical jig I'm not gonna cast because it's not enough weight cast his bait cast but I vertical jig it just to see if I can get something to bite see if I can give me one bass I can probably share this on uh, Facebook all right just a regular knot not nothing serious There you go. That's my knot. All right, so I'm gonna put the worm on here. The Cinco worm. On a 116 ounce jig head. Basically just like that. Just like that. And I'm not gonna be able to cast, but what I can do is I can jig. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is walk this concrete and jig. I'm just gonna walk this concrete, just drop it down like this. 
Let it get down there real slow. Just pop it. You can, come up, you can come up against it. Bring it up against it. This is my angler bait cast, angler combo, angler rod, six and a half foot, angler bait caster, the reel with 10 pound test line on it. Make sure, I wanna see if I'm on the bottom. Okay, I'm on the bottom now. Just like that. I like to bounce mine off the bottom. You can come close to the concrete too. They'll come and get that joke. Take it out. Hold that rod tight, man. Big old bat to snatch that joke out your hand. It's not that deep. About right there. Toss it out. I'm gonna let it drop. I'm gonna let it drop back to me. Pop it. There we go, you guy. Big old bass too. And this bait caster, ooh, that's about a, that's about a four pounder. This bait caster, hold it. This bait caster, hold it, you guy. <clears throat> that's a thick fish. And she spawned out too. Calm down. This just straight bass here. That's straight bass, ain't no eggs in that. Or maybe, I don't know. Don't like, don't like, she got no belly. See how that just came out? But you put that pressure on them. Oh, I ain't got my scale in a way, so. That's about a four pound bass, you two. Same side the other one I caught. Let you gotta get a better look. There you go. Solid, solid, solid. So. Let me get it in the sun because I noticed in the shade you can't really see it. All right, I'm give y'all a better look here. There you go. There you go, YouTube. Man, nice fish. Just walk down, you guys. Man, I don't know what it is. I'll be, I'll be on them. Just walk down. Like I said, I haven't came out here after work and fished for no couple of hours, three, four hours. I need to, cause I'm catching fish, so I need to come down here, but I haven't. But there you go. Big, big girl, I believe. I don't think she's, I don't think she got eggs in them, but you never know. She gets to go back. She's gone. So what you, what you two, what y'all think about that? I literally just walked down. My camera says four minutes and 37 seconds, and I got a fish. And this is what we fishing with. The bait caster, angler. My son got me this for my birthday a couple years ago. Real angler rod. This is a six foot, six foot rod, I believe, or six foot six. 12 pound, actually this is 12 pound, big game. 116 ounce jig head with a six inch Cinco worm. 
Let's, let's get back out there and see if we can get us another one. I got about 10 more minutes. All right, let me walk back down. So y'all saw what I was doing, right? I was vertical jigging. That's about seven feet. I was tossing it down. Then it come back to me and they just let it hold, just, just hold it there. And they'll, they'll do the rest. Now he was closer, he wasn't out there. He was up in this way, or she was up in this way. See what's going on here. Hello, this is Ernest. Out for lunch? Yeah, I'm out for lunch. I should be back here in a few minutes here. Okay, I'll be making on the show. Sorry about that. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right, guys. So. Let's see if we can get us another one before we go back. I got another one you got. A big one too. Ooh, Nelly. Got a five pounder probably. Ooh, wee. I didn't bring my net. Ooh, wee. Wow. Oh, I gotta reach down there and grab him, you guys. God dog. Five, six pounds probably. Oh man. Calm down. Oh, I hope she don't spit it out. Oh, he spit it out. Got him, got him. <laughs> Look at this right, man, what the, what the? I gotta go and get my net, my, my scale. Oh man, I'm, I parked in the garage. God dog, what in the world? Now I caught a four pounder, this might be six pounds, you guys. I caught a four pounder, there was nothing this size the other day, 4.5 I showed y'all. Oh man, man, man. I ain't been down here. I ain't, I ain't been down here ten minutes. YouTube. My camera says eight minutes. Eight minutes. Look at this hog. Okay, I'm getting excited now. What? I gotta get this out. Hold on, hold on. They go to 16 ounce jig here. Hold on. God dang it. Give me one second. Let me put my let me put my gear on. Oh my God! Look at that. All right, hold on. I'm gonna get this on my other camera too. I'm gonna get this on my cell phone. Look at it, it just came out. You gotta keep that pressure on them. All right, I'm breathing hard now. My journey, my journey went up. Okay, you two. Okay, you two. Take this hog out. Oh, man. Look at that fish. Oh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Big fish, big fish. Look at that, big old female, full of eggs. That's five, that's over five pounds. I give it six. I give this fish six pounds, easily. Easily six pounds. Wow. All right, let's get her back in the water. This, this is the biggest bass I caught in a long time, many years. My personal best was seven, six, and I caught that back in 2020. And this is, this has gotta be six pounds. It's a big fish. All right, so she can get back, you guys. Whew. Let's go. 
Man, that's a big bass. God. All right. I got about five more minutes. Let's see if we can get us another one. All right. So that one, I could not horse over that. So you see that knot I did? That knot is strong. I'm going to show y'all. That's a Jane Wiggle knot. So I don't have, it's not no special knots on what I made. It's just a knot I use. I've been using it. I use it for crappies, everything. So, all right, man. All right. Okay. I'm pretty right. Okay. All right. So, seven foot. And we're going to get right back down. And, they, and these, these bait casts, these rods here, this is medium heavy probably. They're going to handle them. There you go, you got another one. Another probably three pounder. Oh. And she spawned out. Oh. There we go, you guys. So there we go. Got them on the worm with the 16 ounce jig head. Yeah, very pretty one. Yeah, very pretty. Very a bass. Yeah, large mouth bass. Yeah. 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 Very healthy, yeah. Yeah. There you go, YouTube. Very, very healthy fish. And that's why I got them all, you guys. So he's gone back. Mm, got another one you got. Got a crappie. Big old crappie on the worm. I'm talking about, about a two pounder. I'm gonna weigh this one. That is most definitely a two pound crappie. Big old female. You guys see I got them on the worm jigging right by the concrete. All right guys, I got a two pounder crappie. God dang, I think she about to drop her eggs. All right, let's get out in the, in the sun so you guys can get a better look at this, this beautiful, beautiful fish right on the edge. So I might need to start bringing my uh, my crappie lures and getting on that edge. Here you go, I'm gonna weigh it. It's doing that crazy thing again, two ounces. All right. If it's not two pounds, they're close to it. Zero. One point eleven ounces. That's a big fish. God, they look like a two pound fish. Let me see. Let me try one more time. Put on zero. See. All right, hold on. What is it doing? All right, I'm just. Turn it off and cut it back on. Well, time for me to upgrade my scale. One point eleven. So that's probably dog i guess i better i caught a two pound the other day but that looks like a two pound cropper to me i don't know it's crazy yeah that's 111 for sure that's the third time that's the third reading so let me cut this off all right guys here we go youtube that's a long fish youtube here we go. Look at that big old slab.
You guys, that's a big crappie. No matter where you go, that's a slab right there. Got him on the edge with a worm. She's gone. Got her with a worm, you guys. Let me show you. Well, you know I'm fishing when you see it. You got it with this. 116 ounce jig head and a worm. Got going back to work, but you guys, thanks for watching. It's only a short video and uh, two nice bass, but I'm about to come down here one day. I keep saying that. I'm about to come down here and fish this thing in the evenings, just fish it for a few hours and see if I can get about 10 bass for my bass lovers that like to see me catch bass. But let me get back. Y'all have a blessed day. Enjoy the Monday. Peace. Hey YouTube, man, they got us so spoiled up here. I'm gonna show you guys something. So when I'm not just swamp on work, I'll show you guys something here. Got a pool table, you got all the TVs for all the football games, all this recreation stuff here. Got a, got a just cool little lounge, but this is what I be looking at when I come in. So this is where I work at, right? I work in this tower, but look at all this water. So this is where I work, and I be fishing from here back that way. And uh, I wish I could fish all of that, but you can't do that. So, so I'm off work. You guys want from this video? You about to see? I got that work on my lunch. I got those videos on my lunch break. Now from this time on past this video, I'm gonna see if I can catch some bass or crappies after work. So let's see what happens. All right, YouTube, I'm back out. I'm on lunch break. I'm gonna walk down here and I'm gonna see if I can get me anything. So this is what I'm fishing with, you guys. This is called the Trick Worm. Watermelon Red. It's a Zoom bait, Zoom bait company. And I guess this was, I guess this would be a Cinco or a Wacky Worm. But this is it. So you guys want a guy, I got it from Walmart. This is what I'm using. All right. Go down here and see if I can give me some more. Now I'm gonna bring my net just in case I give me a, another uh, six to ten pound bass. Who knows? Alright guys, I'm not gonna change anything up. I'm still going with the 116 ounce jig head. And uh from my scale and I'm gonna go with the uh the worm. And I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not changing anything up. That's West, yeah. Yep. You catching anything? You missed one? I got about like I got about like four on my lunch break one on by six pounds all right so you wanted to get it right like right on the bottom you guys so you know make sure you're on the bottom i'm on the bottom there and you want to pick it up right off the bottom and sit it back down on it pick it back up sit it back down or you can kind of just drag it off the bottom you know that current that current will do the job for you that current would do the job for you. Hey, you got your big. Oh, I was saying you got your man now. Oh, for real, dang. A big one too, huh? Dang, it's like about ten pounds. Hold on, hold on for a minute. I'm gonna bring my, I'm gonna bring my net. Hot knees, hot knees, hot knees, hot knees. Hot knees, hot knees, hot knees, hot knees, hot knees.
They said it's a big old catfish back here. I caught one the other day, about six pounds. Yeah. I think you're bigger than that though. The way it splashes. Oh, he broke loose. He broke off. God, I wanted to get that on video. <laughs> Dang. They got power, brother. I, I knew it. So yeah. the hit, I knew it wasn't a bad. Them catfish got power, man. I'm talking about power, power. <laughs> hey, they don't play, especially if they get big. They don't play. Uh, That's all good. Up, What's up, brother? Man, good I see you didn't get that one off him. Man. That was, that was, that was, that was gonna joke. be a yeah, I saw him splashing. Man, that about ten pounds probably. Yeah, Come on, didn't look like that when it was splashing. Let me tell you something. This twenty-five pound test. It might be bigger than that, yeah. This, this twenty-five pound test. Ooh, yeah, he scratched that joke up too. Yeah. God. I think he caught me on that pole. Yeah, yeah. As soon as, as, soon as he got enough no slack, I think he caught me. In this pole. way? Yep. Mm -hmm. Dang, you got him on the chatterbait? Yeah. That would you use? So you, you switch it up from that Cinco, huh? Oh, you got the Cinco on the other one, yeah. yeah I got the right there. It was, a yeah. Dude, it was a dude catching up on one of my other spots yesterday, I mean, uh, mm. yesterday on chatterbaits. See, I caught, or, uh, I caught a yellow belly cat, just a little bitty uh -huh. one, off that same chatterbait just now. <laughs> so you gonna make me switch up? Switch up. Dang! I'm gonna have to go get me another one of them. I don't have uh, another one that yeah. color. I was trying to do what color was it? It was a white and chart shoe. Okay, I gotta remember that. Well, you two, we didn't get to see that. You popped it, but it was a pretty big catfish. I saw the splash and I know what it looked like. Let's get back over and see if we can get back. You got a better look at the hooks of, of the uh, tie that I do. This is the 116 ounce jig head. I just take it through the loop. Double it up like this, hold it, do it, circle my finger, and take that 16 ounce jig head through the loop. One time, two time. That's it. Once I do that, I grab it, get it as close as possible to the jig head. There you go. Now, here's, here's my secret that I do. It's not a secret, but it's just what I do. It works for me holding big bass and everything. One, one. One, two, tied in. All right. One, two, tied in. Then one, two, three. Then I wet it with my wet it with my mouth, or whatever you guys want to wet it with. It doesn't matter. Lock it in there. Grab the head, jig it, lock it in, real tight. And here's the secret to get it to be real tight. Once you cut this little end part off, there you go, cut it off. Leave a little bit, just a little bit right there, if you guys can see it on there. And when you catch that first bass, it's gonna tighten that up, and it's not gonna be on there. And that's it, real simple. If there are a name for the knot, nah, I don't have no name for it. Just something I do. Put the worm in like that. There we go. And we're fishing after work, so we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna catch us some fish. Got one. A little bit of one. Oh, this is a little one compared to what I was catching on my lunch break. But I got one. Calm down. These are the ones that'll get you hooked because they just wild. So he flash flash it around, put them on the ground, get them by the mouth so that hook don't get you. Get it out of there. It's easy to come out. There you go. You ain't worth a screen, screenshot. Get them on back in there. And let's go to the next one.
got some big, you guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the drag right. Let him run a little bit, but I got some big. Might be a catfish. <laughs> yep, that's what it is, a catfish. A big old catfish. That guy, uh, remember that guy, uh, Wes I met, uh, that's a pretty, pretty trying to take. Remember that guy, Wes, I, uh, bet had one. And now I got one. These things are just strong. They, they hold, they, they different than the bass, you guys. These are the real deal. Catfish are strong. I might can, uh, get them up. There we go. About a five pound catfish. That's a nice catfish. All right, so let's get it loose. Another about, about another five pound catfish. Or at least four. They, them jokes are strong. They brutal. Some beasts. Got him in the mouth, so he wanted that. Now, yeah, here's the thing about it. Catfish mouth is super strong. I mean, super tough. Got it out of there. All right, we're gonna weigh it. We're gonna get them back in the water real quick. Open up. There we go. They close that mouth down, boy. Ain't nothing you could do. All right, let's see. I wanna get a better. Oh, he got that joker tight. All right, maybe that'll work. All right, you guys, we're gonna. No, I, I, I knew I had to get a bit further in there. All right, let's see. There we go. So let me just get a little bit closer further down in there. All right, hopefully that works. Okay, hopefully that works. So let's see. We on we on negative one, so I don't want it. One zero. Says three point six. No four, uh, three point six. But let's redo it. I think it's like three point seven. Three point six, you guys. That's it. Three pounds six ounces. That other one was a lot bigger than this one. It says three, three fourteen, three fourteen. Okay, we we'll take that. And this is a channel cat. Get that fish out of there. Yeah, Shut up. he won't even let it go. <laughs> yeah, a channel cat. Yeah, you that's a channel catfish. They call it a channel cat. No, no, I throw him back there. I work over in these towers. I just come down when I get off work and. It's pretty though. Somewhat. How Some. Long can he stay out of there? Oh, these things. Actually, these things here, they can stay out to the next day. They can stay out like 24 hours. Cool. I know. Yeah, they kind of ugly. Catfish here. Yeah. yeah, that's a very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And these things here. You see them thing that's sticking up? Uh -huh. If you touch that and they touch your hand, what they get you. It, 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 it'll, it'll stick you. And it got like a little medicine, like a little. It ain't poison. But it was gonna. That's a pretty dog, man. What it ain't. You, what you catch that thing with? Uh, with a with a uh, a, a worm fishing for bass. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they stick them up, and if you stick in your hand, and sometimes it's like bacteria on it. Oh yeah. So it'll make you start. Yeah, it'll get you. So you have to be careful. I will never touch a catfish. And, I'm glad you told me this. And you squeeze it really hard, right here. Look at that. Right there. And right here, it ain't it ain't this. That's that's the, but it's that hard bone. Mm. That this one, that one, they, they ain't not right there. It's them three. Wow. And if that stick me, I'm a grown. I'm a big guy. It, it'll make me lay down over there and start sweating. Really? Yeah, they're no joke. Yeah, it's a real deal. Well, have fun. All right, thank yeah. you. No problem. You have a good walk. He's gone. Well, that was almost a four pound catfish, you guys, on a Cinco worm. I got a crappie, a catfish, and bass. So, weird day, but they're getting the job done. We're gonna try for a couple more, and then I'm gonna call it a day. 
All right, so you see how that, that, that didn't break from that catfish? That knot I tied, that is a strong knot, you guys. I'm trying to think a whole catfish, bass, drum, all of it. Just gotta make sure the, drum, the drag is set right. And this right here is the real deal, so it handled that with no problem. All right, you two, I'm gonna call it a day. So, bass fishing on my lunch and bass fishing after work. I got one bass, and I believe I got a catfish. And that's basically it, so after work suck. But my lunch break, I was, I was catching some nice ones. So you guys, thanks for watching as always. Thanks for the new subscribers, the old subscribers. Thanks for commenting, liking, and sharing. I appreciate you. Y'all have a great day. Have a great night. Peace.